Hey guys, we're here. I'm gonna run you through my um, current shoulder and tricep day. So, just start off with the calves. Always hit your calves first so you don't neglect them. Um, now we're into shoulder work. So, pretty much showing you what goes into building some width and some density up top through your delts. Um, then a bit of tricep isolation to finish off. So, we'll run through it, see how we go, and then, yeah, let's crack in. Big five kilo dumbbells. This is just to warm everything up. I like to sort of pre fatigue the delt. We're going to go into a pressing movement next. So, if we can do a little bit of light stuff, get a bit of blood flow into the delt, sort of ensures that the shoulder is going to give way and work more first instead of your triceps and everything else. So, easy warm ups. We'll go hit some heavy stuff. Big shoulder presses next. We'll do a few warm ups. A few feeder sets, make sure we're working. And then I'm gonna go up to about 100 kilos today, trying to get about 10 to 12 reps. Um, you'll see when I do these, I'll sort of come to a slight pause at the bottom at a bad chin height. That sort of stops any bounce and sort of aid through momentum. Um, sort of saves the joints a little bit as well. And that way we know that we're keeping tension on the delt the whole way and just sort of isolating the area that we're trying to hit, so. We got nine reps out of this last week, so goal is no less than 10. We'll see, we'll see. I'm feeling good. Give it a crack. It's like bright red right now, like a beetroot. Oh shit, need to breathe. All right, so just finished with our barbell presses. Now we're onto a machine press. Once I've done a few warm up feeder sets, this is pretty much just one rest pause set um, to failure. So one top set, a momentary rest for about 15 seconds, then a second set to failure. 15 seconds, third set to fire. So pretty much three sets combined into one, but you'll find by the third set having such a short rest period, I'm only gonna be getting out a couple reps by the end, but it's just sort of getting to failure, little rest, getting to failure again, and just push to the limits. The little fellas on top aren't much, but sometimes what you need to sort of be the bridge between the next Big jump in weight, so we'll see. That is one big cluster set right there. It's sort of deceiving because I got I think 12 reps out of that first set. Second set, you sort of like, oh yeah, I left like eight. You hit a wall after like two. But if you fatigue at that point, that's so how you know you've done it right. Now we're into isolated work. So we've got some lateral raises here on the just fixed machine. Um, and then the final few movements are just gonna be rear delt movements, which are again more isolated. Then we're in the triceps. So this is just a really slow, controlled, Tempo, we're trying to isolate that slide delt, bring out some some capped width. Yeah. We're warm. So, using the fixed machine for your laterals, you find if you're using like free weights all the time, that bottom part of the movement's pretty easy. You're sort of you're fighting against gravity. So, when you're only lifting it so far from your midline. 
it's not really super difficult, whereas the top half's harder. Using this, or like a cable machine, the tension and the load's constant the whole way through, whether or not you're at the bottom or the top. So you're keeping constant, even tension on that side delt the whole way through without sort of giving yourself that rest at the bottom. So if you want to really build side delts, doing these with good control, I find the best way to target. Good hurt, good hurt, but hurt. 12 reps face pull, then into a, a reverse fly lane chest on chest first on here. Just lightweight, isolating, just making sure we're getting that last little bit out of the result. If you haven't heard, B strap is where it's at. I'm using these for my um, face pulls to begin with. Just makes you grip a million times more natural, so you can isolate the area you're trying to hit with more ease. triceps so to start with who's going to go a single arm extension to isolate that tricep get blood flowing um, and then again it's all about trying to make sure triceps are pre-fatigued they're what are sort of going to take the load more than the delt when we go hit the bigger movements and then we're finishing off with some more cable work and then done Close grip bench now, we've only got two sets again, top set, then a back off set at about 80-90%. Um, again, pre fatigued the triceps before, so ideally we just want to focus purely on using as much tricep as possible, get a full squeeze. Top set I'm aiming for about 8 to 10. So this is the last set of the day coming up. So I do a similar thing with my biceps right at the end of the, the workout. One set to the absolute limit. So I'll try and go as many strict controlled extensions as I can um, with controlled form. Then once I pretty much get to failure, then I'm gonna pump out an extra five or so reps with a little bit of an assist with a bit of a sway into it just to get a few more reps out. And then that's one big set. Once I'm doing that, try to have to dust it for the week. the workout done, shoulders, triceps. Um, again, similar sort of stuff to some of the other workouts we filmed and run through, like lower volume, higher intensity. So every top set's gone to absolute failure, um, leaving nothing in the tank. And that's sort of, I guess, one of the benefits of having a lower volume, higher intensity approach is it sort of creates more urgency to make the absolute most of every set. So you're taking every set to the absolute limit instead of sort of leave, leaving anything in the tank for 
extra sets on the top of things later on. Um, I'm trying to target certain areas to grow, obviously for um, my pro debut, I want to make sure that I'm big enough, so I want to be putting on size all over. Um, I weighed in at 112 kilos faster this morning, which is like a new top weight for me. Um, and body fat's still staying pretty tight, so I'm going to keep trying to push this weight up for as long as possible. And then I think around April-ish next year will be when prep begins. Um, so as long as I'm, I keep growing until then, I think we'll be in a good place to be competitive um, in the pro leagues with enough size, enough mass and maturity. So yeah, but overall that's the workout. Um, again, any recommendations of what you'd like to see in the future, let us know. Um, comment, message me, whatever. But we've got plenty more coming. What are we gonna do? Leg workout next, I think, aren't we? Legs next. Um, Harry's gonna join in with that, it'll be nasty. I'm gonna make you, maybe make you spew a little bit or something. Not looking forward to that one. Um, uh, leg days, we'll get everything documented. And then the closer we get to shows, although it's like, months away we want to try and document as much of it as possible so I guess everyone can have a bit of an insight and a look into what goes into not only prepping for a show but doing the growing season and the actual progress making in the off season leading up to a show as well so we're going to document it so let us know what you want to see um, but for now that's shoulders and tries done thanks for watching